Hey guys, Yankee here, and today I'm going to be doing my manga haul for January, February, and March 2024. I don't have a lot of manga. I only made one order. I got four volumes right here at the end of March. Um, but I did get a new series, a couple series that ended, and then a series I've been following for a while had a new volume come out. So we've got a good variety in these four volumes, plus I have a little silly extra thing at the end. Uh, the new manga... So, I don't know if people saw it, not many people watched it, uh, but I made a video on some Fuomoko merch. They're VTubers from Hololive. I've slowly, over the last couple of years, been getting into VTubers, and I've started getting into Hololive. And one of the groups from Hololive have a manga, Hollow X Meeting. Uh, I don't know much about Hollow X. Um, again, I watch Fumoko, so I've seen a few of them. I've seen three of them, actually. Louis. Oh, no. I can't remember what the... the whale girl's name is. Chloe. Louis, Chloe, and... Oh, God. I forgot the... Uh, Koyori. There we go. Uh, I've seen them in Clouds with Fumoko. They're fun. Uh, this is, I think, only a two-volume manga, uh, which, hey, I'm all for it. I've kind of been focusing more on short manga lately anyway, instead of trying to get into big, long-running series. So, just a nice two-volume manga that's, I think, like a prequel to, like, their lore. Um, but yeah, looks fun. Uh, the artist is also someone I'm familiar with, for like a weird reason. They did, like, I think, a single character design in Digimon Lynx. Um, in that game, there was like a character, like a guide character named Hina. Uh, and they did the design for that character, and I like that design, and so having a manga by them is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, Hollow X Meeting. Uh, I have not read that yet. I'll probably just hold off until the second volume comes out and read it in one sitting. Uh, the two manga that are wrapping up, One Operation Joker, there's volume three, and there's a huge glare on my camera, on my book. Come on, there we go. Uh, and then Superman vs. Meshi. Uh, I've read Volumes 1 and 2 of One Operation Joker. It's silly Joker babysitting Batman because Batman accidentally turned into a child. Uh, I have only read the first volume of Superman vs. Meshi, and it's basically just Superman going to Japanese restaurants eating Japanese food. Um, I'm excited to get to the end of this. Again, I'm really interested in, like, short manga lately. Like, I don't want to... I'm not looking for a lot of long-running series to get invested in, so having like two or three volume series are kind of what I'm looking for. And I like superhero stuff, uh, and I picked these up, and they're pretty enjoyable. Um, I'm excited to see sort of how they wrap up. Uh, they're kind of gimmicky, and I don't know if like they would have been fun for much longer than three volumes, so I think wrapping them up here is probably a good call. Uh, but yeah, I haven't read these yet. I'm excited to get to them. Um, One Operation Joker in particular has just been ridiculous, and I like it a lot. Uh, Superman vs. Meshi has also been fun, but it's just kind of a food manga with Superman in it. Uh, so yeah, there are those. And then the final manga volume I got here is Defrag, volume 17. Boy, is this manga slow to get new volumes. Um... I still enjoy this series a lot. I haven't read this volume yet, uh, and I don't know if I'm going to read it right away or I'm going to let it sit. Um, like, with this and previously with Witchcraft Works, but I'm that series is over. Um, this is this is my oldest series that I've been picking up. Like, I've been getting this one since 2015 when I started getting into manga. But I don't know if I want to read this right away, right away. I might just put it on the shelf and then, you know, a couple years from now... <laughs> just reread the whole thing with the two or three new volumes of this we get. Um, because, yeah, the release schedule on this is slow. Uh, but, yeah, that's all the manga volumes. I have one more little thing to show off. And this is just a dumb little thing, but it's fun, right? And that is the McDonald's bag manga. I don't know why they did this. Well, I get why they did it. It's just like a silly promotion thing. Um, but I got breakfast one day from McDonald's and saw the bag, and I'm like, oh, that's neat. I'll hang on to that. Uh, and so, yeah, I hung on to it, and it's just 
front side, back side, advertising some new sauce or whatever. Uh, and then a couple of things here on the side. I don't know where I'm gonna put this. I'm probably just gonna toss it in a drawer or something, forget about it, and then a few years I'll throw it away or something. But I don't know. It's just a neat little, a neat little thing. Uh, so yeah, that's it for this video. Not a whole lot of manga, but a lot of neat things, I guess. Like a good variety of things. Series wrapping up, new series I'm starting, um, old ones I've been getting for a long time, and then a dumb promotional thing. Uh, so yeah, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.